Good morning, I just went and collected my eggs and we're gonna talk about how to wash and pack your eggs. Um, first of all, you may or may not know this, but in the United States, we're in the minority and uh, countries in the world that actually refrigerate their eggs. Most countries in the world say you don't need to refrigerate the eggs uh, because they don't actually wash their eggs in water and they keep the bloom on them. So if you don't know what the bloom is, what, when the chicken lays the egg, there's a mucus coating that goes over the egg that seals up the pores and keeps bacteria from going in there. And most people refer to that as the bloom. And uh, most European countries and countries around the world feel it is healthier to not wash off this bloom. And then you just kind of scrape off whatever is dirty on it and store, uh, and store it that way. And most countries will say, just leave your eggs on the counter, not even needed to be refrigerated. And usually they last three weeks or 21 days. Uh, if these eggs were just for me, most of these, they're not very dirty, I would not be washing them. But uh, when you're selling them or giving away to friends and there's dirt smudges and spots on them, uh, they're used to the eggs that come from uh, big commercial farms and they're chlorine washed and scrubbed and they're just spotless. And so they freak out if they see dirt spots or even little poop spots. So um, you do need to wash them. So we're going to go through that process today. Okay, USDA standard says to soak your eggs in 90 degree temperature. I don't actually measure the temperature, but that's certainly not hot, but it's not cold. I have two different baskets right here. Sometimes I just bring it up in a bucket and I can fill up the bucket until the water level is above the eggs so that they're soaking. A lot of people uh, discourage you or don't recommend actually submerging the eggs and uh, just getting them wet, but I'm going to fill up this bucket here until it's above the level of the eggs so they're getting wet. Sometimes when I get in the egg basket here, I just spray the eggs so that they get moist. And I feel that that's all you need to do is get the eggs moist. And then we're going to let it sit for a minute uh, that the dirt and the poop isn't going to come off super easy just yet. You let uh, the moisture soften everything and then you wipe it off. So I'm gonna wait just a minute here. After they've sat for a few minutes, I like to leave my little crate right over the drain and then just run the water over the top of the eggs, rinsing them off, and I just sit them back down on the bottom of the sink outside the basket so I know that they've been rinsed they're drying off, but the water can still run back down through. So all these eggs are coming clean fairly quickly. That one was really dirty. So just that couple minutes in the water, really softened up all the debris that was on the eggs. Okay, they're all done. I just give them one more good rinse over. So they've been rinsed off and sitting in the sink. They're drip drying in there. I'm pulling eggs out and I'm just simply wiping them down with a paper towel to dry them and I'm going to put them in the carton point side down. I produced and sold and gave away eggs for years before I realized that you were supposed to put them point side down. There is a small air bubble in the eggs when they're delivered that is on the broad end, the more rounded end. And if you put them point side down in the carton, then that won't um, travel through the yolk and the rest of the egg and potentially expose it to bacteria. Uh, the eggs will stay fresher longer if you put them point side down. Eggs get eaten so fast in my house it doesn't really matter but it's recommended point side down. And so just a quick wipe off with the paper towel gets any dirt that's left on there off of it. This one's cracked. I'm gonna give it to my dog he loves the cracked eggs. 
Also, one of the other things you can obviously do and should do is uh, good animal husbandry, meaning you should keep your nest boxes as clean as possible. Uh, if they're getting feces in there, clean it out, put new wood shavings or straw or whatever it is you use for bedding in there, keep it clean. Also, one of the problems I have here in western Washington, it's been raining for the last 100 days, basically. Slight exaggeration, probably only 95 of the last 100 days. But uh, the area around my barn is very muddy and wet, so the chickens really are getting muddy feet. They come in and then they get mud on the eggs. And so I'm trying to figure out ways to lessen the mud around the barn just so they're not so dirty when they come in the house. But that's real briefly how to wash your eggs. Again, most countries don't refrigerate their eggs because they don't clean them like we do here in America. It's an expectation to clean them here, so therefore we need to refrigerate them. Don't know if I said this before, but I tend to use the spin technique. Put the egg in there, spin it. Follow my hand, spin the egg in the towel. Not saying that's better or worse, just seems to be the way I end up doing it. As I continue washing the eggs, please consider liking and subscribing to the Flanagan Homestead where Christmas trees are my business, teaching including horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion.